Good morning. I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm going to wear my little negligee. <laughs> I'm on my way out to go run some errands. I have to turn a few items to two of them and the other store I had a little an issue. So we'll <laughs> I'm gonna share it like later today or tomorrow whenever I have a chance to like sit down and go through it. I have to take back that track suit and get one of the colors, like either the top or the bottom switch so that they actually match. So that's my plans for today and wish me luck. <laughs> Maybe I should take my AirPods off. Okay, so this is my outfit for the day. I obviously didn't put any effort into myself, but I've been really loving just wearing these little negligees out. I wear them sometimes with a sneaker, but I'm basic and I always just wear these sandals and bag together because then it always looks polished with minimal effort on my part. It's for casual day running errands and I have to clean this mess up. I think I have a few minutes before I have to leave, so I'm gonna get this a little clean. Okay, so these I'm going to started like a little excess this is almost like for my testers and things I probably should save this for travel but I'm gonna put it over with my perfumes because it's so pretty <laughs> okay and obviously this isn't finished yet there's like there's a like gaping hole but that later. Okay. So dinner was nice last night, but I got there way too late because it took a hundred hours to get ready and my outfit looked so bad. I don't, and it was also, it was super warm out last night. I thought it was going to be really cool, which is why I was so stressed. And also I have to bring my autumn wardrobe in over into this closet. I didn't want to overcrowd it with too many seasons. So I've been putting off seasons over into another. Side note, skinny jeans are so out. They're like, I tried these on last night. They looked so bad. These are on the outs. Okay, I'm going to go put this in the bathroom right now. Okay, I have to get going, but I've ordered my Starbucks drink on the app so that it's all ready to be picked up. Okay, our return number one of the day was successful. I got the discount, the 25% discount applied to the sweater. So all is good. Okay. It's gonna be on the left hand side, I think. I'm gonna try and jaywalk across the street. And I just put my arm out like an old Greek woman. No one will hit you with their car. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, three for three. I was a little late with that return, so I missed the like back on card return, but I did get a store credit. And honestly, Aritzia is on this season, so I'll probably go back and buy more some more stuff, but I don't have time today. And they told me for the sweater. Hi honey. Told me actually that I wasn't crazy. <laughs> Those were two different colors because they had changed the batch. And so the ponts that were delivered to me were a completely different color because they had tweaked it a bit. So they're sending me out a new hoodie. So we'll see. Hopefully in a few weeks or in a few days, we'll know if it's the same color. <laughs>
There's a windstorm out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does it have Brussels sprouts in it? Oh, it's that artichoke. Oh, it looks like chicken. Yeah. So, yeah. It's I'd love their pistachio. Actually, get what flavor you like. Don't get the pistachio. Hazelnut. Okay, hazelnut I'm not as into. If you get anything cookies and cream, I won't eat it. So, just a little tip. <laughs> mm. This is so good. It tastes exactly like a Greek, like yogurt you would have in Greece. Try a bite. Any good? So good. This yeah, so in Greece, they always put like honey on their Greek yogurt. They don't always, but even like the plain Greek yogurt is so good. But I think it's good because it's so high in fat and not very high in protein. This is like a dessert. This is more like ice cream then. Does that car think you don't see them? They're like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> My boyfriend just went <laughs> to get <laughs> some gelato. I love Oreos and I really don't like cookies and cream flavored things I, the best thing about an oreo is like the whole texture of it and and the chocolate shell so to me the cookies and cream is like the chocolate biscuit but the cookies and cream flavored ice creams and things are never as good as an actual oreo i hate i actually just i don't i really don't like cookies and cream flavors anyway i always encourage my boyfriend to eat get the cookies and cream because then I don't eat it and if it's a flavor that I really like then I fixate on it and then I want to eat the entire container actually let's talk about the grocery store I love trying new grocery stores and I think that was my favorite grocery store I've been to for a while they had Quebec like French made cheese sorry French made Butters, and I got like a burrata cheese made in Wisconsin. Everything there's so like specialty and hand picked. And I got some truffle salts, and they had those like pasta pucks and all this really, really good foods for your freezer, and just so many incredible specialty foods. I'm excited for these butters, but I'm gonna have to freeze them because they go bad like September 25th. So I'm gonna freeze those specialty, like the more bone marrow and horseradish butter I'm gonna freeze. Oh, I, that was exciting. I loved it. It was like so many French and Italian products. I can't wait. I really enjoy cooking. I really love food. Anyway, okay, so the returns went really well. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk all over here. Here, I went through a windstorm. Really like this haircut. So. When I got my hair done the other day, he told me, because I was inquiring about highlights. I've actually never done anything to my hair. I once did it ombre. Sorry, there we go. Okay, I once dyed my hair ombre. How do I move this? <laughs> okay, now I can speak. So I once dyed my hair ombre just at the ends, like a few years ago when that was kind of in style, I did that. And it looked like okay-ish. My friend actually did it and it, it was like okay-ish. It grew out and looked really, really bad, but I just grew it out and then chopped it off. And I've always been a little bit afraid. No, I've been afraid. 
I've just been hesitant to dye my hair because if I dye my hair, I know I probably won't upkeep it because <sighs> I like things that are <laughs> like, believe it or not, actually like low maintenance beauty. Like if I don't want to do it that day, I don't have to do it. The only exception is like my nails because I only have to do that like once a month. But I just worry that it if I dyed my hair it would damage it so much and then it would be like a nightmare and then you'd have to like you're then you're committed to it you're stuck with it anyway I've gone to quite a few hairdressers I actually went to um a hairdresser that worked at Orbe for the launch like when they first launched the products and he did like fashion week and he did Kim Kardashian's hair and anyway actually like I've gone to like three hairdressers because I'm probably not that consistent but anyway I went to this hairdresser and with like three hairdressers I always ask them if I should do low lights does that work oh my god that's crazy okay I just want to like have this sit somewhere more normal Anyway, that's actually kind of better and also I like this good. hairdresser that I've gone to when I ask them about highlights, they always love, they love my hair because I've never done anything to it. And they always tell me, they say, don't do anything. They say, woman would kill for your color. <laughs> I'm breaking. Humble breaks. Anyway, they say, woman would kill for your color. They always tell me not to do anything. Actually, I have to go into this shop. And so then I don't do it. But when I went to this hairdresser Daniel yes or Thursday he told me he took the ends of my hair and held them up and he said that would look I mean I cut the ends off so now they're not as light and my hair is like stuck together but he said that that would look really good if I did like just a really really light color so I might go back and do that shower <laughs> gifts Okay, I'm home now. I'm just unloading, or I just unpacked everything and put it away in the fridge. I gave my fridge a little organize, and I just wanted to share one of my favorite tips because I tell this to all my friends and family. I like to compost. I don't compost every time. I compost like 75% of the time. Whenever I'm doing like a cooking a big dinner, I'm interrupted. Start a bag. So right now I'm loading this compost bag up with all the stuff from the fridge. And then I'm just taking it right outside because I think a lot of people don't compost because it seems, sorry. Okay. 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 This doesn't work. That's better. Okay. I think a lot of people don't compost because it seems like a bigger undertaking you feel like you need to have like a compost like I don't have a compost bucket I actually just do it in the moment and maybe I'll let the compost bag just sit in my kitchen sink like it's just salad and noodles and stuff so it's not gross and rotten but I'll just have it sit in the kitchen sink for like an hour and then I just bring it right outside it doesn't like my parents did composting when I was growing up and they'd have it like it was sit for like three days it was really gross little tip now I'm just bringing this right outside and then I didn't throw stuff in the garbage so my garbage doesn't smell and it takes up less space in my garbage and it also then all of those nutrients that are in this and like this food go back to the environment so I just feel better about it. <laughs>